Yeah, welcome uh, to our presentation. Uh, I am Mustafa Jarrar. I did this work with uh, my colleague, uh, Mustafa al Haj from the Lebanese University. Uh, before actually starting, I would like to mention that uh, we at Birzeit University have uh, several lexical resources that we developed in the past years like a lexicographic database with 150 lexicons, the Arabic ontology, which is an Arabic word net, and also several uh, uh, annotated uh, dialect code. Okay, for those who are not familiar with uh, WSD or where since this ambiguation, uh, the task is the following. Uh, given a word uh, in a context like this one, uh, so we would like to know which meaning or which sense this word denotes among the several uh, uh, senses, uh, set of senses. Uh, our contribution in the paper is that we used bear to for WSD. So what we did, we first developed a data, a data set uh, that consists of 167,000 uh, gloss bears, uh, context gloss bears, which are labeled something like this, where you have a gloss and you have a context. And there is a target where that we want to label whether this is true, that this is the sense of this word or not, uh, and so on. So we extracted this uh, data set and then we uh, uh, finally tuned the three uh, uh, BERT models and we achieved accuracy, which is 84. So we actually, in this way, what we did is that we converted the words this ambiguation task into uh, a, a binary sequence BERT classification task. So there is a related work you can uh, see it in the paper, but I would like to just to, to say that the use of BERT for uh, in this way is uh, very recent and most of it was done in English. And most of the work that was done in, uh, for Arabic used uh, 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 static embeddings. So, uh, our data set was constructed from BRZ University uh, lexicographic database, which, con which contains the Arabic ontology and uh, about 400,000 dictionary definitions, but they are raw definitions. So they, they, we have to extract bears from them. The extracted bears about 60,000 bears, which we consider true bears. And from the true bears, we uh, uh, generated the false bears by uh, uh, cross-relating uh, the context and the glosses. Uh, this is uh, statistics about our uh, data set, uh, 26,000 uh, unique lama undiacritized, uh, 32,000 unique glosses, 60,000 unique uh, context, and so on. So from this data set, we extract, we also, we divided the data set into training and testing. Uh, the majority is of course training, uh, 152,000 training and uh, 15,000 uh, for testing. And this is very tricky and very important to, to note that every context selected in the test set uh, was not used in the training. Uh, and every gloss, used in the, should be used in both training and testing. The data set and the tuned, uh, the, uh, tuned models are, uh, can be downloaded from this uh, link. In order to tell Bert that, uh, like uh, this context, and we need to focus, to emphasize the learning process on the, in a certain way, we have to annotate the target words in context, then, which, is, which was done semi-automatically, but then a verified uh, manual for the 60,000 uh, uh, contexts. So we found it in the three BERT models on this task, binary classification, binary sequence BERT classification. Uh, if, if, as you see here, three models, Arab BERT, Camel BERT, and Karib. 
and as you see, Arabair achieved the best results. Uh, we again uh, went again to fine tune BERT with different uh, tagging of the target words in context, uh, but we couldn't improve more than 1% uh, improvement here. And as you see here, the F scores are also not bad. To sum up, uh, so uh, we show how to tackle the WSD task as a binary sequence bare classification task. Uh, sorry. Uh, we constructed a data set uh, of 160,000 uh, bears labeled with the true and false, and, and we annotated the target words, uh, which we actually consider a relatively large uh, data set. And uh, we uh, finally tuned the three models and achieved uh, 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 this accuracy, 48% accuracy. Uh, this is the end of my talk. Uh, thank you very much for listening. And I'm happy to take some questions. Thank you.